Here I'm given two lines, line L and line K. It tells me line L passes through 2, 4, and 0, 0. And actually the problem says it passes through the origin, but I know that the origin is the same thing as 0, 0. Next thing I know is line K, and it goes to the points 3, 6 and 1, X. Uh, let's see. The question is saying what is the value of X. Okay. Now, a couple of things to uh, understand here are the relationship or is a relationship between two lines that are perpendicular. So two lines that are perpendicular, their slopes are opposite reciprocals. So for example, let's say we figure out that the slope of line L is one half. That would imply that the slope of line K is negative two. And the reason for that is you flip it and change the sign. Or in other words, the opposite reciprocal or the negative reciprocal. Um, so keep that in mind, the relationship between two lines that are perpendicular. And just as a side note, the relationship between two lines that are parallel is that they have the same slope. So let's start with this. C line L, I'm given these two points, and here's my slope formula that I have down here. Using this, let's figure out the slope of line L. So let's say this is x1, let's say that's y1, that's x2 and that's y2. So let's plug these points in there. So uh, 0 minus 4, again that's y2 minus y1, over x2 minus x1. So that'll be negative 4 over negative 2 or just 2. Negative 4 divided by negative 2 is just positive 2. So now I know that the slope of line L is 2. That tells me that the slope of line K must be, remember they're perpendicular lines, so the slope of line K must be negative 1 over 2 because you want to flip the slope and change the sign. So when I flip 2 it becomes 1 over 2 and since this is positive the slope here will be negative. Now let's use this formula again. So let's use this formula again, plug in these values and solve for the x. So let's call this my x1, y1, x2, y2. And this will be my slope, obviously. So let's do that over here. Uh, x, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And that equals the slope, which is negative 1 over 2. Right? And that, that's all being taken from this formula right there. Now I'm going to cross multiply and solve for my x. So the 2 is going to get multiplied right there. So that will be 2x minus 12, that 2 gets multiplied to the x and the negative 6. And now 1 minus 3 times negative 1, which will be negative 1 plus 3. Or you know what, let's do this this way. To make it a little bit less confusing, I know that 1 minus 3 over here is negative 2, right? So I'm going to erase that and I'm going to put that as negative 2. And negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. Now let's add 12 here, let's add 12 here. 2x will equal 14. And that tells me that x must equal 7.